Hello again, this is Fessa from Vico.Gaming and welcome to part 7 of the Grim Fandango Remastered Trophy Guide. Now that we have the VIP entry card, we'll make good use of it in the High Rollers Club. One of the things you need to pay attention to is that you visit Maximilio before you talk to Nick. Busy as ever, I see. <laughs> now, first time I did this recording, I uh, did things in the wrong order, so you might see mention of Gladys already being at the club. Please ignore that. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny. Don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Many. Let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now... <clears throat> Let's talk about something we can agree about. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> Ooh. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes, and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that twice. Your new waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town corner, Manny. Cut it out. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. Well... I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. After chatting it up with Max, we uh, go see Nick about a thing. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that, and I can do the same to you, Calavera. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Repeat after me. Gladys is not here. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's gonna pull out of it and win anyway, right? No, 
that pussoid puss is going to lose. But nobody knows, and I'm going to make a mint. I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes, they keep themselves pretty clean. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. A friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Definitely no Glorus. Nope. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? I'll ask Max if I can borrow you. He doesn't like sharing his counsel any more than he likes sharing his girlfriend. So don't bother. I could pay you more than him. Manny, look around you. Maximino could buy your club and use it as a litter box. I could force you to do it with this gun. If anybody had guns in this town but us, we'd know. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. I wonder who's still making that slurping noise. Now, who could open that cigarette box? What's that? It's a little something special I bought for you. Don't try to make nice, Manny. It's too late. What? It's a new compact for your makeup. Manny, I don't wear makeup. You know that. And I'm not saying you need to. Good. What? Cigarettes? What does it look like? Don't try to make nice, Manny. It's too late. What? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? Yes. Oh, my God. Give me that! It's a bomb! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key. Bingo. I bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. 
Nice burden there, Carla. But what this key will actually enable us to do is to move the plot forward and we can figure out what Nick actually did to quote unquote fix the problem with uh, Lola taking a picture of him and Olivia. For that we follow the trail to the lighthouse. This is also the perfect opportunity to show you guys this little handy little shortcut between the cat races and the cross section near the blue casket. locked Lola careful Manny you may not want to see me like this Lola did Nick do this to you yeah he wanted that picture real bad but he's never gonna find it that thing I'll get him Lola I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men. Or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! Oh, Lola. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it. And it says number 22, Lengua. So... Hmm, guess it's up to me. Now with this little piece of information, we need to go to the club and see what Lola... No, not, not Lola. Um, Lupe? Yeah. Uh, what Lupi can make of this because it looks awfully lot like her clothing registering system This is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22, 22, 22. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Ha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh... I I'll tell you tomorrow. It's Lola's jacket. Poor Lola. If I only had her camera or that film, I could really get Nick. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets.
all that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Thirty-six? That number's not even part of my system, Manny. And I don't think I'd let somebody check an old rusty anchor back here anyway. Now we finally have the last piece of information we need for one of the trickiest trophies in the game. The whole reason why we couldn't let Claudus have uh, the VIP card yet. I guess Gladys is good at anything that uses keys. Ooh, a request! Hmm, Rusty Anchor. Rusty Anchor? Yeah, I, I think I know that one. If I remember right, it goes a little something like this. Oh, my boat's got a rusty anchor. Rusty as she can be. Every port I go, I drop her, but she always come back to me. Oh, rusty anchor, going down, down, down. Oh, rusty anchor, guess I gotta hang around. Now I love that rusty anchor. But man, she don't love me. Hell, this morning I woke to find us both a drifting out to sea. And every chance I get, I thank her for never leaving me. Well, my bones are carved up driftwood, but she won't never set them free. Oh, rusty anchor, going down, down. Rusty anchor. Guess you gotta hang around. Well, what'd you think? I thought you were created just to drive. Well, over the years, you know, even a demon dabbles here and there. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Compadre? So this is the part where I started to relax a little bit during the editing. The hardest part was over. Gladys got to sing his Rusty Anchor song. The rest was smooth sailing. Well, mostly. There's another little bonus attached to that rusty anchor thing. And um, it's not a trophy, but uh, you could take a little detour after you got the, the card to the blue casket. The Rusty Anchor? Manny, I didn't know you were familiar with my early work. I usually don't do the old stuff, but 
I'll swing this one just for you. Wind pierces my hull, an iceberg, a needle, sweet, whispered nothings, sail tonight, a storm, this deathbed harbor by love's rusty anchor, forever moored. I'm not sure what that means. Thanks. This leads us to the last big portion of this part, uh, getting back to the High Rollers Club and um, getting Charlie Conchillas, it was, it was his name, yes, uh, his suitcase, yeah. his, his money. Mike Teller's dream could go either way. El Gato Gordo, right on the heels of Bank Teller's Dream. That's the sugar Baba likes! Yeah! Yeah! Don't forget to take this turkey baster for later on. Looks like a turkey baster. Also, don't forget to talk to Aether here before you continue the story or you'll lose the opportunity of another trophy. <laughs> Wake up, Izzy! Hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here! Sorry about my friend. I'll get him out of here if you want. Who, oh, Gladys? No, he's all right. He's just got to pace himself. I can barely get any sleep between changing casks for him. Hey, let's beat up that waiter. Not a bad idea. But he's new. Give him a break. Going down? Probably. Later. Maybe you could take me down now? Oh, yeah. I could take you down, but I can't eat customers anymore. No, down in the elevator. I want to go down in the elevator. That's true. They wouldn't see me hit you in there, but I still get in trouble. Just open the elevator door. Then they really see us fighting. I don't want to fight. I just want to use the elevator. Chicken. How about a bribe? Look at me! What can you give to a guy who has everything? Why can't you hit customers anymore? Exactly! It makes no sense. Sorry, don't mind me. Just passing through. To where? The elevator. Doubt it. Can't I go down to the cellar? It's a wine cellar. Wine goes down there. Okay. Nighty-night. <sighs> Out of the kitchen, please. For this part, you need to be quick with the scythe and lock in the snooty waiter. Hello? Hello out there? Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here immediately. Oh, so you're doing it. Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? 
that does it! Mmm, mm, fruity, but voluminous! Now that the barrel is empty, time to get cracking. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Hey, Joe! More wine! Oh, I'm going to fire him for ignoring my pleas. And then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. The important part here is to maneuver your forklift so that the forks will slide under one of those ingresses on the left or on the right. Do that before you start the elevator. This is it, last part, last cutscene thingy of part 7. Hope you all liked the video and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and if you have something to say about it don't forget to leave a comment, always appreciate it. Bye! Dios mio, it's full of double end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chow Chilla Charlie. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, 
I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the Union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Don't forget to pay my dues. Ha, ha, ha.